design a bandpass filter to pass the frequency in the range 1 to 2 radians per samples using harming window. Also find frequency response of the filter. Take n equal to 5. Scheme steps 5 marks, windowing 3 marks, final answer 2 marks. Let us try to solve this problem. Given cutoff frequencies omega 1 equal to 1 radians per sample and omega 2 equal to 2 radians per sample, the number of samples n equal to 5. So the corresponding filter characteristics is given by this graph. Now choose a symmetric impulse response to the causal system so that h of n equal to h of n minus 1 minus n. Therefore, the desired ideal frequency response HD of E raised to J omega for band pass filter is so HD of E raised to J omega equal to E raised to minus J alpha omega for omega varies from minus 2 to minus 1 and 1 to 2 which is equal to 0 otherwise. So here as we know alpha equal to N minus 1 by 2 which is equal to Y minus 1 by 2 equal to 2. Here alpha equal to 2, therefore HD of e raised to j omega equal to e raised to minus j2 omega. Therefore, the desired impulse response HD of n is given by 1 by the inverse discrete to Fourier transform of HD of e raised to j omega, which is equal to this one. So the frequency varies from minus 2 to minus 1. Known is 1 to 2. So we can simplify as 1 by 2 pi of these two times. So integrating, we get the expression in this form. Substituting the ranges, we get the expression in this pattern. Now we can rearrange these terms. So that we get we get the expression in this form. Here we can see that this is in the e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta by 2j which is equal to sin theta. So these two terms can be replaced with the sin theta format. So this will be equal to sin 2n minus 1 for all n except n equal to 2. So when n equal to 2, this will become, denominator will become 0 and the function will become indeterminate. So in this particular case, when n equal to 2, we have to apply the L hospitals rule. So for n equal to 2, we get h of 2 equal to 1 by pi. So for n equal to 1, we get h of 1 equal to h of 3 equal to point not 1, 6. Finally, you can compute h of n as this sequence. The causal harming window sequence is given by the expression wh of n equal to 0.54 minus 0.46 cos 2 pi by 2 pi n by n minus 1 for n equal to 0 to n minus 1 which is equal to 0 otherwise. So computing for harming window sequence we get wh of n as 0 0.08, 0 0.54, 1, 0 0.54 etc. So we have the harming sequence and the desired impulse response. Now the h of n can be obtained by the 1 by n multiplication of the 2. By multiplying we get h of n as the sequence. From the impulse response we can get the system function or h of z as 
this form. So simply replace, so raised to 0, then it's raised to minus 1, so raised to minus 2, etc. Now, once we have the h of z, then the frequency response can be obtained by replacing z with the e raised to minus j omega. Sorry, e raised to plus j omega. That is, so replacing z with the e raised to j omega, we get the final result as shown here. So we have solved the problem. Thank you. We can further expand or simplify by applying the Euler's identity that is e raised to minus j omega can be replaced with cos j cos omega minus j sin omega in that pattern so that finally it will be in the cosine and sine functions format.